Come with me on this walk around tour on this 1985 Sea Ray 340 Sundancer. Starting off on the starboard side, we get a nice profile view of her. Here we are, starting up at the bow. We see we've got the windlass, shortened bow pulpit, got a nice anchor coming down along the side. We see we've got some nice fender baskets, a little bit of teak for accents, a nice large Ford deck, just begging for a pad to lay out on it. Along here, we see we've got the large windows that open and allow light and air into the cab. Dual trumpeter horns. We've got a newer Bimini with new eyes and glass enclosure. We do have an aft curtain, but she's off for the show. Coming down along the side, there we have the nameplate right there. This gives us a nice overview of the cockpit right here. We can easily step on board the extended swim platform right here where we have a boarding ladder also. We enter the vessel through this transom door and note we've got a lot of gunnel storage here and grab rails. This Sea Ray features a large removable transom bench seat with storage underneath, new upholstery, lots of gunnel storage, and in-deck tables right here. From here, moving forward, we see we've got a nice double wide helm seat right there and then our captain's seat right there. For our companions, we've got a nice area here with cup holders and a grab rail. Note the window, which allows light down into the main cabin. Stepping over to the helm, we see she's blue gel coat to reduce glare. All of our switches are right in front of us. We have a stainless steel ship's wheel right there. And all of our gauges are within a line of sight. We've got two hour meters. One is showing 1600. The other is showing 1100. We don't know if that's since the repower or if it's on the boat itself. We've got our standard depth finder right there, speedometer, and a Furuno unit right there. That gives us a nice shot of the helm out onto the foredeck. Access forward to the deck is through this walk around right here. And here's large expansive area. Great for sitting out on. Just add a filler cushion or some deck chairs. From here, let's go into the cabin. We enter the cabin through this folding door, and right as we step in, we see we have our power panel right there. Down a few steps, and here we are into the main salon. Off to port, we see We've got 
an extra large refrigerator. Our galley is right there. Stainless steel sink. Dual burner princess stove. We've got gunnel storage above. Blinds. And these windows open for light and air. We've got a new Pioneer stereo for entertainment. There's our port side settee with storage underneath. Moving forward, we have our double bed with storage underneath and privacy curtain. We also have more gunnel storage and port lights in here. We've got a full size hanging locker. This mattress is a Tempur-Pedic memory foam, which is a nice upgrade. And then off to starboard, we have yet another mirrored hanging locker with drawer storage underneath. Circling around, we've got our boost style dinette, more gunnel storage, and our flat screen TV on a swivel so we can view her from any place in the boat. Behind it, this is an interesting older Sea Ray feature. Bottle storage right there. Moving aft, we have our head with the vacuum flush head system. Partially lined fiberglass. There's a short, there's a floor drain. And it's the RB style shower. Just attach the hose to the faucet. Moving back, we have a very large mid cabin with its own overhead window. We can see it's double wide, full beam. We've got a shelf for storage. And then more built in storage right there. In all, this 1985 Sea Ray, 340, very well priced, good condition. See her today, owner tomorrow at South Mountain Yachts.